Hey, hey, hey. So her hair has already been shampooed, conditioned. Uh, we did give her a deep condition. And now I'm just pressing her roots out with one of my favorite flat iron. Sorry, uh, pressing combs. I have that pressing comb linked in the description box. So it'll be on the things I use in the salon. Or I may put the direct link in. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, pressing the roots out just allows the soap press to last, you know. Um, and just with the flat iron, it's harder to get like real close up to their scalp. Especially with not having them jumping and acting crazy like you're killing them. So uh, I did... I do like this method where I just press out the roots first and then I go ahead and flat iron and take your time um, doing this and just remember when you are using a pressing comb that the teeth is not what's straightening the hair it's rubbing the um, back of the comb onto the hair and so I'm really just um, doing the roots and the texture is still in the ends because that's not the part that I'm focusing on. So now I'm just spraying this hair with Avalon's um, Texture Release. It's their thermal spray just to give the hair some protection from the heat. And it does allow the silk press to last a little longer. And now we're getting started with the silk press. Now, if you've been following me, y'all know I live by my Paul Mitchell Neuro Smooth Flat Iron. Um, I do recommend doing a silk press with a titanium flat iron and then the following up with the ceramic flat iron as titanium gets the hair straighter and sleeker and ceramic is going to get the hair that shine and just that clean polish look. Okay, so she asked for a bob cut. Uh, she really didn't specify. So what I did was just just gave her a um, zero degree cut. And then I'm gonna go back in and clip her ends throughout. So it'll be like some light layers, but my main focus is focusing on getting as much of the dead hair off as possible because y'all be trying to hold on to these ends and then y'all be sending these silk press where the hair is silk pressing, honey. But you don't want them ends off. The hair ain't going to be silk pressing. And you can best believe them ends going to frizz up by the time you get home. So just cut it off. Don't be afraid. Um, it's just hair. It grows back. You have hair there. So it lets you know that the hair will grow if you take care of it. And y'all don't be scared to cut y'all hair. See, it's moving already and they ain't even did nothing. Honestly, um, I'm mainly just cutting off her ends. Her ends are really frizzy. So I can tell she's probably been wearing a lot of braids because her edges are like short. So she's either been wearing braids or wigs. I'm gonna go with braids. Um, so, you know, you still gotta take care of your hair in between. I don't recommend getting braids like all the time, you know, for vacation or something like that. but. People always say, well, braids grew my hair. But honestly, name a person that wear braids constantly all the time and has extremely healthy hair. Like, you just can't. Um, too much of anything is just not a good thing. And um, they may have long hair, but 
I'm pretty sure they probably need like three inches or more cut off. So that's a myth that's always in our community um, that braids grow your hair when in fact they really don't. Your hair is going to grow. Now time for my favorite, favorite, favorite spray. If you know the name, leave it in the comments. I will have a link in the description box below. I also will have it. It's always in my Amazon storefront under um, things I use in the salon. Now, it is not technically like a holding spray, although you can use it as one because it is buildable, but it smooths down the flyaways um, gives the hair like a natural shine where it's not like super shiny and it weighs it doesn't weigh the hair down and then the cool thing about it is see that even though I'm doing the banana peel method and they look stiff when I get ready to comb that hair out the hair is gonna be so soft and pliable y'all to baby baby you need this now the flat iron I'm using is EAP heat uh this is not a promo they did not give me anything but i know y'all gonna ask so that is the flat iron i'm using i do like to press with a ceramic flat iron as the ceramic um gives the hair uh, extra shine as opposed to the titanium the titanium is gonna get the hair nice and sleek but that ceramic is gonna um give the hair that shine and, and, and what you need So I'm done. I'm going to spray just a little bit of Nairobi's um, oil sheen and look at the hair. <laughs> 